Hi everyone, in this video I'll teach you how to design this perspective illusion nameplate thing in Fusion 360. I still don't know what to call it, so if you have an idea, do tell me in the comments. It's actually surprisingly easy and quick, you only really need to know the basics for this, so it's a perfect project for beginners. Fusion 360 is free for hobbyists and students, and you don't have to worry about skill cap, because the loading screen itself shows you what you can do. And I fiddled around with Fusion 360 for a good year or so, and I still have no idea how you make that. Uh, so if you don't already have it, just go to their website and download it. The link is in the description. So first, you want to select a plane and insert text. It's Ryan for me. And uh, change it to bold. 30mm is quite a good size. You want to stop sketch and extrude that out. Okay, now you want to create a sketch to the right of your first sketch. See? And insert text, your second name or word here. Also in caps, change it to bold. 30 millimeters, okay. Now we're extruding a negative of this, so draw a big square around it. Now there's probably a better way to do this, but Fusion 360 doesn't let you select the negative, so we want to do extrude that out by 2 millimeters first, and then extrude this one, let me select it, this one out by 1. Make sure it's joined. Now we can select the negative. So select this box, select those, and cut the entire thing. This might lag a bit. There we go. Now remove these extra bits that we used just now. Negative 2 mm's into it. Okay, like that. Okay, now we have the perspective done. And you can see we've got a lot of bodies, so we'll just hide that first. Sketch. So we have Ryan and Ku. So now we want to cut it into the nameplate uh, shape. So to do that, we'll create a sketch on the bottom of it. So we want to create a big box around it. And we want to make sure we're cutting it diagonally, and the first diagonal bit will be where the first two uh, letters are. So we'll create a line there from the corner. Yep. So where the first two letters are, we'll create from the corner out approximately one uh, 15 mm that's what I like to do 15 and another 15 oh no 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 and another 15 okay now we want to do it for the other corner same from the corner 15 millimeters. Here to here, type in 15, and here to here, another 15. Now connect the two triangles. Okay, now stop sketch and we can cut the whole thing. So we select the negative of that and extrude, cut it up. And now we have the nameplate. So now what we want to do is we want to join it all together because there are many bodies. So we'll join all that together using a base which we will extrude from the bottom here. So select that and it's important you extrude it up and not down or else it won't it, it's not going to print well 
so I'm gonna extrude that up a bit by 1 to 2 mm so our tree is 1.5 to be safe join okay more or less done but you want to make sure uh, open up your bodies and ensure oh two that depending on your name there might be quite a few floating bodies but for me I only have this uh, dot over here so you just want to toggle the visibility on that and uh, ignore that yep so now you're more or less done and actually on the bottom you can add uh, a message or your name like uh, happy birthday from your name or happy teachers day you know whatever personalize it a bit more than it already is and to do that you just want to create a sketch on the bottom insert your text and just uh, ext extrude cut it up a bit just like we've done before now you may be wondering what if the names have different numbers of letters uh, this is an example of that as you can see this really isn't a problem with uh, this method of creating this uh, the only thing that really changes is the angle at which you view the names at, which isn't noticeable at all. Now bring it into your slicer and take a good look at it, because there's a good chance there are some bits that are not going to print well. So on this model, you can see here, this is floating in the air because the on the model itself, the walls are too thin for the slicer to see there. So just get rid of that completely by extruding it. Or you can you can get creative here and re-export that out and put it into your slice again. Alright, now it's fixed. You wanna go ahead and check that one more time in case you missed anything. Go ahead and slice and export it and print it. Now, in all honesty, while this is a rather easy thing to model, it's quite a challenging print. I use soluble supports for, I'd say, the best results. Chances are, though, you don't use soluble support, so custom supports, if you use Cura or Simplify 3D, is quite a good idea. I'd say branch supports in Mesh Mixer is also not a bad bet. Though, if you use Slicer PE like me, you can't use custom supports. So make sure you increase the contact Z distance between the support and the print itself. This thing is a great gift. I've given this as a birthday present, a farewell present, a teacher's day present, and I'm pretty sure they liked it. So feel free to experiment and put your own spin on it. And if you try it out, do tell me how it goes down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Subscribe for more tutorials and fun stuff. Thanks for watching and see you soon.